When you seek for real aviators, find them among old-timer aircraft. This is the place where aviation spirit was born and where it still lives with a true passion for history and flying. But old airplanes don't mean old habits, especially when it comes to safety issues. My name is Jacek Mainka. Um, my everyday job is flying Airbus 320 to 21. The passion is to uh, um, kind of uh, collect of uh, historic aircrafts. This hobby was a dream of mine 30 years ago when Poland was on the other side of iron karting. I own three airplanes, the Havilland Tiger Moth and uh, the Havilland Canada Chipmunk and Tyler Craft Auster. When the aircraft like Tiger Moth was created, there was no leaded fuel. Basically, there was low compression engines and the statement in manual says good aviation spirit. So, more or less, every good gasoline petrol was to be used. No additions were required. After World War II, the situation has changed. All high uh, compression engines, flying high altitude airplanes, all those uh, needed leaded fuel with special additions. Basically, Mogas would be better for those old engines, providing that there is no alcohol, no dangers. For years, it wasn't really available. Always danger was that some alcohol and other additions are going to be used. That's why, for years, I avoided using Mogas. I stick to 100 LL. But nowadays, uh, UL91 is free of those uh, additions, and basically, it's a different fuel than for cars a special fuel design for aviation. My understanding of the old recommendation is go for it, don't uh, use uh, leaded fuel 100 LL because it's not so good as unleaded fuel. So coming back in time I use unleaded fuel like before World War II. So fit your airplane with something really healthy. Refuel your experience with UL91.